Oh, it's you. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just as happy to see you as you are to see me. All right. You're not? Well, it's mutual. What? What's me? I noticed something about you. You've never walked into a Rebaldi video with the intentions of being wholesome. You just walk in here ready to fight. I don't know why. Like, what have I ever done? What, what have I ever done to you? Like, what happened to us, baby? <laughs> we used to be so good. Like, you never walk in here and you're like, Oh, I missed you so much. I better find I missed you so much in the comments. I want to see, oh my god, I love, you were something wholesome, you know? Give me a wholesome comment, I'll give you a wholesome comment. You look good today. I'm gonna give you something wholesome today. I'm gonna give you a whole wholesome ass video. Because today we're taking a look at the, the moment, moment of, of truth. A very cute, wholesome show. Look how much fun everybody's having on the show. It's, it's They're having so much fun. I mean, what do you expect from a show brought to you by lighthearted entertainment? <laughs> Production company specialized in and tearing, tearing people's, people's lives, lives apart, apart and, and destroying, destroying their, their families. families. Well, this is a game show, and just like any other game show, in this one you get money, and the only requirement is the willingness to tell the truth. It's your willingness to tell the truth. It sounds easy. Yeah, I can tell the, I can tell you the truth right now. I lied about you looking good today. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just kidding, God. What are you, a Pisces? Why are you so sensitive? <laughs> It does seem easy to tell the truth, but maybe not in front of your whole family and friends, especially when they ask you something like this. Would you donate a kidney to save your father's life? Well, she said no. And her dad is sitting right there. <laughs> He's just... On this positive, wonderful note, let's meet our contestant. Tara Kent is a 31-year-old personal trainer from Kansas. All right, so basically they strap him onto a polygraph exam, they ask him a couple of questions, and apparently they're the only ones who know whether he said the truth or not, because those exams are really accurate. It's only him and them that know whether he's told the truth or not, but he does have the option to change his answer during the show, all right? If he thinks he wasn't being truthful. So that's kind of the irony of the show, because even if you were telling the truth, and the exam said you weren't, because the exam isn't perfectly accurate, you're getting screwed, man. <laughs> you're getting screwed either way. Your secret's out whether you tell the truth or not. <laughs> Remember the audience? The best part of this show is the audience. We're gonna be able to tell the truth in front of all of America tonight? That's my goal, man. I Let's meet the guests, his family and friends, the people they're gonna use against him. I'm Katja Ty's wife. I'm April Ty's friend. I'm Martez Ty's friend. <laughs> Welcome to all three of you. Yeah, I don't know. This combination is a little... <laughs> it's a little scary. You're coming here, you're full of secrets and shit, and you brought in the wife, his female friend, and his other friend. All right. Let's go talk to family and friends for a moment. Katya, you're excited about today? Very excited. Not nervous at all? He's preparing her for something. <laughs> he's just, no, he's a special guest out now, former NFL quarterback, one of the hosts of the best damn four show period. As a football player, did you ever sneak a peek at another player's privates while taking a shower? <laughs> yes. True. All right, cool. Like you, you see how everybody's in a cheerful spirit, you know? Look at everybody's having fun now. Like, ah, oh, you stare at people's dick. <laughs> okay, like you're in a shower. You're in a shower together. Like if, if, if you, somebody told you not to look at something, you're gonna look. Don't look at my nose. Now that he's won his ten thousand dollars, we were moving a level up. You know, I, I can't think of an easier game. You tell the truth, you win money. Simple as that. Or do you want to go for twenty-five thousand dollars? Here, well, the questions, questions get, get more, more personal. personal. The questions get more personal. Harder to answer, more revealing to answer. So if you want to stop, stop at any point. He's like, please stop. <laughs> Let me stop you right here. Something about the way you're sweating right now tells me you don't have a Father's Day gift. Don't worry about it, because this video is brought to you by The Ridge. The Ridge is this really cool brand that makes these epic looking wallets that can hold up to 12 cards 
and they've got room for cash as well. They come in over 30 different colors, and the one I got was Black Damascus Steel, and look at this beauty. It doesn't only look amazing, it comes with a lifetime warranty, and it's made with RFID blocking technology. And what that means is digital pickpocketers won't be able to hack your cards. Wow. And that's a big plus. It's so compact and convenient, I can literally slide this into my shirt's front pocket and not have to worry about pickpocketers when I'm traveling. It literally fits everything I carried in this massive, bulky wallet. This makes for the perfect Father's Day gift. You know, the Ridge team is so sure you're gonna love it. They're prepared to give you 45 days to try it out, and then you can return it before then for a full refund if you didn't. Get one right now, guys. Head over to the link in my description box below, ridge.com slash rebaldi, and use my code rebaldi for a 15% off. And a big thanks to The Ridge once again for sponsoring today's video and for giving us a wonderful um, gift for our dads. You know, it's, we're, trying to, we're trying to like build family relationships now. But let's go back to destroying them. Beautiful wife, Katya. Does she work out? Yeah, she works out. Question seven. If Katya developed a flabby stomach, would you encourage her to get light food? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> True. That's seven truths. Any four more? <laughs> oh my god, this lady, she's just like, she's like, what? <laughs> she's like, what? Why did y'all have to bring me into this like this? This wasn't even a question about a past experience. This has nothing to do with something that might have happened in the past. This was an oddly specific question. It's like somebody knows something about him. They were like, well, in a hypothetical situation of your wife, blah, blah, blah. They're just going out of their way. They're like, if you get a $25,000 cocktail. Anything you want to say? Yeah, nope. I thought you'd say no. Oh man. You'd expect someone to say no. Like, damn, this like, rough. How well does your wife get along with your friends? Well, depends on the situation, but <laughs> she seems pretty good. Question eight. Have you ever suspected one of your friends of making a play for Katya? <laughs> That's why they brought this dude. He's like, ah, that's why I was invited. Yes. That answer is. <laughs> oh my god. True. <laughs> Y'all see this guy? He's like. That's the guilty body language. This dude is like, oh, you caught me. <laughs> <laughs> well, are we going to talk about it? The key word was respect. Right. So what do you like to do for fun? Go to the beach. No, we're not going to talk. I don't care about the beach. Y'all need to bring it up. Like, talk about it. He's like, the key word was suspect. I might have been wrong. Have you ever had sexual <laughs> relations with someone the very same day you met them? <laughs> His friend knows. His friend knows. It's a yes, isn't it? Yes. That answer is true. Oh, she's she's not clapping. <laughs> this audience. Every time something goes wrong, audience goes crazy. Probably got those cue cards up. This like applause, applause, and wife goes. Not clapping. I'm not clapping. Just sweep that under the rug. Wanna stop? Tell me to stop before I start reading the question. Remember the button is still in play for something you don't want to hear. Are you trustworthy? I think so. Oh man. Here it comes. You want me to go to the next question? I didn't come to win ten thousand dollars. An honorable man. <laughs> An honorable man. Is there something you have done? that could cause Katya not to trust you. Y'all already know the answer, like, 
right? Like when somebody takes that long, we already know the answer. <laughs> it's yeah. Kaji's like done. She's like, I'm done with this. Ma'am is done. Yes. <sighs> She's like, bye. Bye bye. <laughs> She's like, it's been fun. It's been really nice with you, but bye. True. He's not trustworthy. He's a dishonest man. A tough question. Do you have any suspicions what it might be? I have no idea. I think. What does he do with his mouth? Like, like <laughs> he has this thing where he keeps like sending his jaw to the other side of his head. You know. I think I'm digging myself a bigger hole. So. You're digging a bigger yeah. hole. <laughs> well, it's like no. Since you've been married. Have you used the internet to flirt with other women? Oh! <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh boy, this is it. This is Katya's final straw. Hey, do you like, is that how you two met? No. Yeah, you. Is that how you two met? No. That answer is... Oh, what is it? <laughs> Fuck y'all. I wanna fucking lay eggs before y'all like... True. All right, that's relieving. She's gotta speak the truth. Doctor, you must be relieved. Yes, I am. He's like, thankfully, the damage is not, you know, as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I mean, the damage is not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. One hundred thousand dollars. What do you want to do? Sadistic. Sadistic audience. <laughs> Let the man pick for himself. He's done okay so far. You know? Feel sorry for her though. But the audience is not happy with that. They, they want to see a family fall apart. This is like a gladiator arena. And the audience so far, they're like, <laughs> like, show us, give us, they're like, give us blood. I reveal too much right now to uh, stop, so I got Oh, you reveal too much? Yeah. You reveal too much? You gotta stop. <laughs> I revealed too much already. Let's reveal more. <gasps> Look, the wife is like, no. I mean, she's like, no, that's a really bad idea. Katya, are you comfortable? No. <laughs> uh, this poor lady. No, I want to keep going. Keep so going. you'd be more comfortable with $100,000? Uh, I'm curious. You're curious? Yeah. Uh, she's not comfortable with $100,000. She's comfortable with the truth. Where's the applause for that? Y'all applaud for, like, depressing shit. She has other reasons for you to continue. Really, you two are just starting your lives out together. Where do you want to be in five years' time? Five years. You know, I'd like to have a couple kids. Nice, good job, and a nice home. Is this news to you? How about the kids? What? <laughs> what do you mean you don't know that? Do you not want kids? Do you think you've delayed having children because you're not sure if Katya will be your lifelong partner? <gasps> Oh my god, I think she wants kids too. Should I friend? No. What a shit friend! <laughs> Did y'all see that? She's like, should I press? This is obviously like a question like I don't wanna like Should I press? No. This is a thing between me and him, the kids, so should I just press? No. Sit down. No, I wanna sit. <laughs> oh my what a shitty friend. <laughs> Imagine if he says yes. I need your answer. The answer is yes. That answer is... I'm dying. Is it worth $100,000 to hear this? True. That's 12 truthful answers. Three more, 100... Oh my god. Oh my god. Imagine your your wife finding out that you don't think that she should be your wife. And that's why you're not having children with her on a game show. I'm done. 
Oh my god. Why did you have this conversation before? But at what cost, Ty? Katya, that can't be great to hear. April, what did you say to Katya? I asked her if um, hearing this is worth $100,000. That's a great question. None of this is worth any money. And before you jump in and say, oh, but the truth is always, I'd rather hear the truth no matter what. Like, yeah, sure. Like, you want to hear the truth? Hear it. But not on freaking live TV where everybody else is going to hear it. <laughs> like, this is a personal matter. It's got to be between you and your, your, you know, significant other, right? You have $25,000. Dude, I don't care about the 20. <laughs> really trying to tell me? I, I I have 25,000. I should feel better because I have $25,000. I know, I know. I feel so bad for her. Yeah. And it is getting tense. I want you to think about what you would like to do. And I want you to tell me, are we going to play for $100,000? Let's go. Okay. People who want personal trainers really want results. They're paying a lot of money. So you give your clients a real workout. Yeah, I give them as, as, as much as they can take. What do you mean? Do you give your clients a real workout? Yeah? Does your client happen to be a, a lady? <laughs> I feel like this is, this is where this is heading. As a personal trainer, have you touched a female client more than was required of you? People are enjoying, they're like, <laughs> Who are these people? Put them on the show. <laughs> Put them on the show. Oh, she's not even showing her teeth anymore. No. That's relieving. That answer is... Why is it taking so long? <laughs> False. No. No. <laughs> Ty, I'm so sorry. The polygraph exam determined that your answer to this question was false, that it was a lie. Why do you think it came up false? Well, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, when you're training people, yeah, you, you're, you gotta physically touch them. Right, but what's required, you know? You know, I wish you and your beautiful wife the best. Unfortunately. <laughs> what? You're gonna you're gonna send me home, and with with nothing but a broken relationship? <laughs> oh my god. That is insane. Oh my god, poor Kate. What's ridiculous is he might have actually never excessively touched a client. And that's that's what I meant by the, the irony of the show, is whether you were telling the truth or not, you're getting exposed, like, no matter which direction you go. That's what's so sadistic about it. Poor Kate. She got nothing out of this. This was humiliating. For no reason. <laughs> It's rubbing in his face. He's like, hey, remember that $25,000 you had? It's gone. Remember your wife? She's gone. Yeah. Remember your, your job? It's gone. Remember your reputation as a football player? It's, it's gone. gone. It's, it's all, all gone. gone. Five seconds, a brave guy. I thought he was going to make it all the way to the top of question 13. Got him. So oh, my God. <laughs> He tried to kiss his wife and she didn't even reciprocate. She gave him her cheek and she was trying to push him away. He got him so we say goodbye. They made sure you got that shot. They were like, ah, get that shot in quick. <laughs> this is so bad. What a humiliating, embarrassing show. This is such an embarrassing show. This was anything but lighthearted entertainment. So you recently married the person you thought you loved and you thought they loved you back only to find out that they didn't want to have kids with you because they're having doubts. They're like, ah, oh, no, actually, I don't think you should be my wife. Aww. They're going to have one long ass conversation after this, let me tell you. And you, pro you probably want to have a conversation about this. You're probably wondering, oh, Rayvall, are you couch surfing? I'm not couch surfing, okay? This is my new apartment. You're like, another, another one? Yeah, I've been moving around a lot, but the previous places, those were Airbnbs, okay? <laughs> those were not, like, I was just staying in places that were like, you know, 
de decently priced and decently sized. This is home. This is home finally. And I'm still I'm still getting used to the setup. So um, this is this has been my excuse for shitty quality for the past couple of uh, days. You're always like, ah, you look so. The other the other video, y'all couldn't stop talking about my shiny bright nose. You couldn't find anything else to talk about, and just just my nose it was all up in your face, and it was shining. That was an error because of the setup. Okay, and I'm trying to fix the setup here. It's the first video I film here, so it's not perfect, but it's a work in progress. Um, but that was pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you... but now it's your turn. That's right. Now you're on the moment of truth. Leave a comment down below, Misty. And tell me, what is something you are hiding from your parents? Yeah, give, give me, give me a real nice, juicy, deep, dark secret. Your parents probably, they, they don't watch these videos. Chances are nobody's gonna find out whatever you said in the comments. Nobody knows, man. Okay, nobody, nobody's gonna know. How are they gonna know? How are they gonna know? Comments are your confessions booth, okay? Tell me your juiciest, darkest secret. How else are we gonna bond? This is the only way, okay? Expose yourself to me. That sounds a little, uh, suggestive. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me know, guys, down in the comments below. But that was pretty much it, guys. I'm going out. Bye.